Liberty DeVito is my Ringo. Now, before you write into me and go, well, he's okay, but he's no flame and Ringo, unsubscribe! Let me explain myself. We've all heard drummers say that they took up drums because of Ringo Starr, and Liberty DeVito had the exact same effect on me. I remember first seeing Liberty DeVito in a 1984 concert with Billy Joel at Wembley Stadium that somebody in my family had taped off the TV. And I literally watched that VHS tape until it broke. And what wasn't there to love? There was Liberty up the back with his long flowing mullet and his big sparkly tarma kit with black dots on it. I've never seen anybody play maracas with such enthusiasm and hitting cymbals from over the back of his head. And if anyone's ever seen Liberty DeVito play or ever seen that concert, you'll know that he hits them and they stay hit. I saw all that and I said, that's what I want to do. And another comparison between Ringo and Liberty is that they create these amazing parts and they play what's absolutely perfect for the song. Can you imagine coming up with the perfect part for one song, let alone a hundred like these guys have? Liberty DeVito was one of the first guys I ever heard that played with a brush in one hand and a stick in the other, like on songs like Just The Way You Are and Rosalinda's Eyes. Speaking of brushes, I reckon Liberty DeVito is a killer brush player. If you've ever heard the song Zanzibar by Billy Joel, you'll hear what I mean. I was talking before about Liberty coming up with perfect parts for some of Billy Joel's songs. And like a lot of perfect parts for songs, they sound a lot simpler than what they actually are when you sit down to play them. The hit song Only the Good Die Young has got that great drum fill at the start that incorporates his foot in that triplet pattern. But then he goes on to play it with the bass drum on beats two and four. And I'd read somewhere that Billy Joel had actually written it as a reggae song and then Billy's band turned it all around to make it that shuffle that it be eventually became. The other massive hit Billy Joel had was still rock and roll to me and Liberty's just up the back just playing two and four on the toms and then on the snare drum eventually and then he's got that awesome 16th note fill that's a bit of a signature for the song. And another song I love, Stiletto, where he just plays the perfect part and he's got this cool way of playing 16th notes on the hi-hats that he does in a lot of Billy Joel songs and he mimics the piano with his bass drum. Liberty DeVito is funky. I don't think people actually think of that when they think of Liberty DeVito when he's up the back smashing the crap out of everything, but he's a really funky player and he's come up with some really cool stuff like Get It Right The First Time, which sounds like Steve Gadd that's had about 600 coffees. So there you have it, my little tribute to Liberty DeVito, one of my all-time favourite players. If you haven't already, go and check him out. It's a masterclass on how to play the exact right part for the song with, let's call it, in-your-face enthusiasm. I'm Sam Pettit, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.